keeping it weird in Austin. Yeah. Right? You hear this guy yapping at us? Hi. Even those even the pigeons are weird here in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> pigeons look like pigeons. swans. <laughs> so we're here with Dave and Marta Williams. Yeah. No relation. No relation, but except for love. We, but yeah. we had relations last night. So. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it weird in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. So Dave was one of my AFF instructors. Yeah. And Marta was on my first forward team. Skydiving my team. first skydiving team. Yeah. Yeah. Long so. time. And Man. they were my adoptive well, sky was, parents. What was the name? Mangina. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. You know what? World champions. It never no, worked. That, you, should that see, team you, should see, you should have seen the logo. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Uh, team Mangina was undefeated, by the way. Yeah, I'm so, yes. We went Peter one for one in Are you the Frenchie. only man on a woman's team? Yes. Did we take a picture of you in the Mangina position? Doing a man. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. I think we did. Oh, no, I think. Up there. Oh, Frenchie. That was, uh... Or was it, uh, Mike Chambers. Chambers did it. <laughs> yeah. So here we are in Austin. Another REI doesn't know that we're showing up. Um, don't have the connectors to the presentation. We ended up figuring it out, but we got like HDMI coming from the ceiling and a bunch of excuses why they can't get us hooked up. So we got this to deal with here. Hopefully it doesn't fall on anybody and hurt anybody. What's going on, Mrs. Williams? I'm just trying to think, how many times did this talk sell out? Three? Yeah. Like it sold out, the article came out, it sold out again, and then we added more tickets and then it sold out again, right? Yeah. So three sellouts. Yeah. We've got like 60 some odd people signed up for this now. Right. It was originally like, what, 30? 35. 35. That's so interesting. Yeah. When it gets promoted, it sells out, yeah. as has been the case around the country. And, and why did it get promoted? Uh, because we did that ourselves. Right. Because it's awesome yeah. and it's important and this community is going to love it. <laughs> and so this talk resonates. That's so weird. What we're that's so weird. <laughs> you got anything else to say? No, that's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where are we? We're in New Mexico. All right, Albuquerque? Albuquerque. You should have took a left turn at Albuquerque? Yeah. Is that what the saying is? I think so. All right, let's get in there. Let's do let's it. Let's go make some differences. Okay. All right. Uh. Uh. So, you think they know that we're coming? Well, I hope so. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>
So what's going on, Sydney? We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're in Old Town. Excellent. Kind of reminds me of Old Town San Diego. Yeah, very much so. I'm into it. Yeah. It's nice, huh? It's really nice. So uh, you want to talk about last night? It was amazing. Yeah, it was good. We had like the best crowd ever. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. Yep. It's weird. Yeah? It's like when things uh, get promoted, they sell out. It's weird, huh? Huh. Yeah. And like the room was full, great crowd, <clears throat> really good energy, great questions, great van tour. A lot of the people, like one of the guys, it was so funny. Uh, one of the guys that was first there, like he, him and his wife came to like claim their seats because they knew it was sold out and they didn't want to miss it. And then went back out, came back in, and he's like, "Hey, uh, do you get paid by REI to do this?" I was like, "Nah, man, I wish." And he was like, "Yeah, well, you should get commission because I just bought something I'd never buy, but I was here and I figured like I should." And I was like, "Hey, man, I appreciate that." And then at the end. There's this guy, Paul, and he was like, hey, do you get paid by REI to do this? I was like, nah, man, I wish. And he's like, well, what they should do is get you a motorhome and wrap it in REI decals and send you around the country. I was like, you know what's funny? I had that idea. <laughs> it's so awesome. I was like, hey, REI, listen to Paul. He gets it. <laughs> so why did it sell out? Uh, oh, because the Albuquerque Journal did an article about it. And so most of the people that were there last night found out about the session from the journal. Uh -huh. so, and, and how did uh, the Albuquerque Journal find out? They found me and they asked if they could write a story about uh -huh. it. They found out about it because we promote our things in the newspapers, right. and the newspaper saw our event listing and was like, I think I should write a feature story about that. And then they did, and then it sold out twice, three times. Right. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when I was having my meltdown in Portland, I was like, oh my God, like my marketing brain, my brand affinity brain, my, 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 my brain. I was like, I don't understand. Am I stupid? Am I delusional? And then last night I was like, no, nah. like when I do this, it works. Okay, cool. Fine. That's great. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> really good stuff. All Let's right. go find some chili. Okay. Okay. So. Shades on. It's bright. Was it Backstreet Grill? Backstreet Grill. Huge fan. Yeah. I feel I like, like we've been lied to about. Uh, Straight. How... Lied to doesn't even begin to cover it. We've been bamboozled. By how good the Mexican food is in San Diego. Yeah, it's not even close. No. Not to this place. No. So much better. Yeah. <sighs> like, that was so delicious. The head chef came out and told us all about it. All about it. Told us about how they make the different chilies between mm -hmm. green and red. Mm -hmm. Which chili is not like chili like the soup that you eat, but it's a sauce and or topping and or I'm, just I'm, delicious. It's made out of magic. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah. So, um... When we get back to San Diego, we got some... We got words for Old Town. <laughs> yeah. They got some explaining to do. Yeah. Well, I think we... I f feel like we owe it to ourselves to go to Tijuana, which from what I gather is a completely different situation. So I asked the chef here, I was like, so is there a region in Mexico that inspires this cuisine? And he's like, this is largely just New Mexican cuisine. Like, there's definitely some inspiration from Baja and California at this restaurant in particular, but in general, like, New Mexican cuisine is its own kind of niche thing yeah it's like mexican food but better it's so good it's so simple like the ingredients are ridiculously simple like, there's like three things in their margarita as a margarita should be mm -hmm. um and they're fresh squeezed stuff yeah like ju freshly juiced mango for your mango mm -hmm. margarita like what that's yep. how it should be that's how we used to make cocktails shrimp that way you bite into it it actually breaks in half yeah so we had like these little bitty street tacos which barry posted a picture of on his stories which were stunning but they each had three little shrimp and it's like these tacos are probably like i did it in like six or seven bites but generally speaking when i go to get like a street taco like you bite something especially if it's like steak but also shrimp like you bite it and it pulls out the whole shrimp or it pulls out the whole piece of steak or whatever this was like you take a bite of the taco it's a bite of the taco not like all of the toppings in your mouth at once it was mm -hmm. unreal plus they got queso i've been talking about this for forever okay. i'm so obsessed <laughs> All right, let's let's go check out yeah. what else is now. Yeah, let's see what we got. So, still in Old Town, we yeah. went over to see the candy lady. What's the candy lady famous for? So, she did the props for um, 
Breaking Bad, the uh, blue meth. And so we got a couple bags of it. And uh, we met the candy lady. Mm -hmm. I don't, know, man. I don't know. Is it places with that are super hot temperatures that messes with people's brains? It's gotta be. Because she's into reflexology and all these weird. We talked about methods. mind body healing, mm -hmm. reflexology, mm -hmm. chiropractics, all different kinds of stuff. And then she's like, but you know what? I don't have any use for them left wing hippies from California. Like, legitimately hated us. Mm -hmm. And she's like, went on this conspiracy theory that Pelosi. The Gettys and two other families are all intermarried and they run California. Yeah, follow and, the money, and man. Follow the money. And I mean, never I, mind like the Sepulvedas and all the other ranching families that like have entire streets named after them. They don't exist. No. It's all about Pelosi. So it kind of makes me wonder what's in this blue candy here. Am I going to turn into a raging conservative for eating well, it blue meth? It was bizarre. Meth? It was bizarre. So, That's all I got. It's just yeah, weird. But hey, cool. got my ten dollar bag. We did it! So we just got Arizona left and then we're done, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not too shabby. Been a good year. We're missing a couple. Yeah, we're missing a couple. Yeah. Like we didn't get one from Texas and we didn't get one from Kansas. Yeah. And New York. And New York. But other than that, we got everything we need. So, pretty cool. Not too bad. So here we are, South Piedra leaves the trail. It's like 4.4 miles, not terribly long, but pretty pretty straight up. First mile is pretty chill and then straight up. So uh, we got about six of us. We got a couple people that have done the trail and they said the views up top are awesome. So, I mean, even at the trailhead, it was pretty amazing to overlook Albuquerque and all these mountains and see the hot air balloons. It's nice out here. I could uh, definitely get used to it, minus the heat in the summer, I guess. So we'll see. Doing? Taking pictures? Hi. Of what? You. That? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Next time on Williams in the Wild. What's going on? Good morning. I can't see you. Good morning. <laughs> Hang on. What time is it? It's 5.37. Is it time to go hike the Bright Angel Trail? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs>